Hey there and welcome to WP Beginner. In this video, I'll walk you through how to properly set up Google AMP on your WordPress website. This is the same setup that many sites use to improve their mobile user experience. And I'll show you how to get AMP installed and customized on your site. But you'll also learn why you may not want to install it just yet. Google AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. It's an open source initiative that's supported by technology companies like Google and Twitter and the goal of the project is to make websites load faster for mobile users. Accelerated Mobile Pages, or AMP, they use bare, minimum HTML and limited JavaScript. By doing this, it allows the pages to load much faster on a mobile user's device. You'll know that a site has Accelerated Mobile Pages enabled when you're on your mobile phone and you do search results on Google. You can be scrolling through and you'll see an area that has the lightning bolt and the AMP sign next to it. That indicates that that page is set up for accelerated mobile pages. Before we install, let's cover some of the pros and cons associated with installing Google AMP for your website. First, some pros of Google AMP is that it's great for sites who have a high mobile traffic. Some experts say that it will help with rankings, but most importantly, it improves the mobile user experience since it loads the site much faster. Now, after considering that, there are some cons, and that is that AMP uses limited technology. As I said before, it uses a stripped down version of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. By doing that, that means that certain things might not load on your mobile site. Things like a widget area, maybe your Facebook widget that you put on your site. And although AMP uses Google Analytics, although AMP supports Google Analytics, if you use a different analytics software, that might not work on this as well. And then finally, there's talk that there might be some potential loss in mobile traffic if you use AMP. Now that you know what AMP is and some of the pros and cons, I'll show you how to install it and customize it for your website. So let's go ahead and go to our WordPress dashboard. To do that, just add admin at the end of your site. Enter your username and password. From our dashboard, head over to the plugins area, click add new. And we're looking for AMP. You want to find the one that is served by automatic and click install. And once you install it, go ahead and activate it. All right, once it's installed, we'll go to appearance, AMP to customize it. And right now this is what it will look like. You can go in and change the header text color. Right now we have it as white. You can also change the background color right there. You can choose the light color scheme or the dark. I'll keep it on dark. And when you're finished, just click save and publish. Now anyone who goes to your site from their mobile device will see this setup instead. You can also do some extra customization and I'll show you how to do that next. To extend the functionality even further, we'll add another plugin. So let's head back over to our plugins area, install plugins, click add new. And we actually need to install two plugins. You should already have Yoast plugin to help you with your site's SEO. So I'm going to search for Yoast SEO. It's the first plugin we want to install and then go ahead and activate it as well. Once it's activated, we want to install one more. Go to add new and we're looking for glue for Yoast SEO and AMP. This is the one we want. So let's install that now. We'll go ahead and activate it. All right. Now that that's activated, we can go down to SEO and you see AMP here. This is where we can customize it even more. And from here, you can enable AMP features on pages or even your media pages if you want. By default, the post is enabled. Under design, you have different areas to upload images. You could further customize your color scheme. 
and you have extra area here for specific CSS for your site. When you're finished with that, make sure you save your changes. And under AMP Analytics, you can make sure that you add your Google Analytics tracking code here. And if you ever want to, you can check on how your Accelerate mobile pages are doing by going into the Google Search Console under Search Appearance, click on the Accelerate mobile pages area. And don't worry, since you just installed this, you may not see anything immediately. Now your site is set up for Accelerate mobile pages. If you like this video, click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment there. We'd love to hear from you. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest videos.